Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Cole from Blue Tree Education. In this video, I'm sharing with you on PSRE 2019 Mathematics Paper 2, Question 17, which is the last question on patterns. Let's take a look. The first four figures of a pattern are shown below. The table shows the number of white and grey triangles used for each figure. Part A. Fill in the table for figure 5. Part B. What is the total number of white and grey triangles in figure 250? Part C. In figure 250, what percentage of the triangles are grey? Now for part A, many students will be able to do this part we simply need to continue to draw triangles. So for figure 5, we just need to continue to draw one triangle, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We just need to draw nine more white triangles and we can find the number of white triangles to be 15. And we notice the number of grey triangles remain the same, which is 10. That's it for part A. For part B, what is the total number of white and grey triangles in figure 250? Now, we are no longer interested in the number of white triangles or the number of grey triangles. We are now interested to find the total number of white and grey triangles. So we have to find a pattern for the total number of white and grey triangles. To find that, we have to find a total column. We add in another row for total. So the total number of triangles in figure 1 is 1, figure 2 the total number is 4, then 9, 16 and 25. And we see a very clear pattern. What is so special about the numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25? That's right, they are square numbers. So to find the total number of white and grey triangles in figure 250 is simply the square of 250, which is 62,500 triangles. Part C. In figure 250, what percentage of the triangles are grey? Now this question is difficult. You have to find a pattern for the triangles which are grey. Now to find the pattern, we can't simply look at the number of grey triangles. We have to look at the difference between the white triangles and the grey triangles. Now in figure 1, the difference between the white triangles and the grey triangles is 1. In figure 2, the difference between the white triangles and grey triangles is 2. In figure 3, the difference between the white triangles and grey triangles are 3. In figure 4, the difference is 4. And for figure 5, the difference is 5. And we see a very clear pattern now. So we know that the difference between the white and grey triangles for figure 250 must also be 250. And we see another very interesting pattern. For figure numbers which are odd, we see that there are more white triangles. So in figure 1, there are more white triangles. In figure 3, there are more white triangles. In figure 5, there are more white triangles. And we also notice that for figure numbers which are even numbers, there are more grey triangles. So for figure 2, there are more grey triangles. For figure 4, there are more grey triangles. So in figure 250, since 250 is an even number, we know there are more grey triangles. So I'm going to draw a model and grey triangles is going to be more than the white triangles. And 
there are 250 more gray triangles than white triangles right so we can find one unit so one unit is 62,500 take away 250 divided by 2 that gives me 31,125 so the number of gray triangles is 31,125 plus 250 that gives me 31,375 so the percentage of the triangles that are gray is simply 31,375 divided by the total number of triangles which is 62,500 triangles times 100% which is 50.2% so that's all for this question I hope you have learned something take some time to look through the question again and I hope to see you again in the next video see you